back to my channel. So as you can see, I have half face of makeup on today because I have gotten a few comments that people wanted to see how I highlighted and contoured. So I just wanted to show you a few of my techniques. Please keep watching to see my tutorial. Okay guys, so first of all, I'm gonna start off by contouring my face and I use the LA Pro, LA Girl Pro Concealer, which I completely love. And I mean, it's not expensive at all. So, and it's just works amazingly as good as a high-end product. So. This is a fave for my contouring. Around the forehead, down my cheekbones. I mean, one trick if you can't find where your cheekbones are, if you just pucker up your lips, you'll be able to see literally a line. And you wanna do exactly the same for the other side. Have a little chisel jawline you can also do an e so literally like drawing an e so do one down here and then bring that along down here and then on the other side as well and just bring that down just to take away that double chin that double chin i also like to put it under my lips just to you know make the lips look a bit plumpier so I usually put it down here I tend to always forget why do these things always happen to me I tend to always forget to take this one off and then I'll finish my makeup and then I'll just have like a line literally down here but always remember you have a line here okay and then we're gonna bring this down on as well Okay, and then what I like to do with my nose is to make my nose look a bit thinner. This is my trick. I mean, actually, I'm completely in love with this. I do it every time now since I learned how to contour my nose properly. So you just want to bring that down here. So what this does by drawing this it makes you look like you have a little bottom nose, which I'm completely in love with. And it actually does work because I'm going to show you how to highlight the nose as well. What I'm going to use now is I'm going to be using my angled airbrush and just to now blend out all the contouring. Blend it all out. Don't worry if there's too many harsh lines, that's why we've got a beauty blender um, just to help blend out any harsh lines. But I like using this brush. Sometimes with beauty blender, I feel like it kind of tends to go everywhere, so with this, it just sort of stays in one place. So wherever you feel like you have any harsh lines, what you should do is go in with your beauty blender and just go over everything. Because you don't want to be looking like you get drawn on your contour. No, 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 no. Okay. You don't want to be showing any lines on your face. I think that's my biggest nightmare going out and then just not blending properly. So I'm going to blend out all of this. No harsh lines. Okay, and then that is all gonna be done. Once you feel like you blend it all out, you're gonna get a little brush to blend out your nose and on your lip. Okay, because if we use this brush, it's not gonna do us any favors, it's just gonna get product everywhere. So get a tiny brush, um, get a concealer brush or a buff, a tiny little buffing brush or tiny concealer brush. I'm just gonna go over. One nose, slightly blend that nose out. And then under the lips, first of all. I'm gonna next grab my um, Fenty Beauty Matchstick in French Vanilla. And what we're gonna do is just kind of, just, I just wanna make sure, you know, my jawline looks nice, features and all, and you can see it. So I'm gonna quickly highlight. Now we're gonna highlight down the borders of our nose, try not to touch the contour. And just done. You're gonna slightly highlight just down the middle of your nose. And I'm just gonna put that to one side. Okay. 
amazing. So I'm now gonna use my beauty blender and just I'll go back to my concealer brush and just put it light on my nose. I'm just going to blend that all out. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to be going on to powdering my face. I do use three powders to highlight my face. Let me get it. I'm sweet like that. So I use my Laura Mercier Translucent Loose Setting Powder in gold. I recommend the shade. I love it. And then I'm going to be using Makeup Revolution's Luxury Powder in Banana and Banana D. Um, I just feel like banana is just kind of too light and then banana deep it's too dark so I usually mix these both together so from the Laura Mercier powder I usually get out the lid of course there'll be no powder on the lid and then I'll mix these two together inside the lid okay so make sure you're using a wet beauty blender I feel like it really does grab into the product very well so now that I have mixed them both in, I'm just going to grab the tip of the beauty blender, just put in the tip, so start off from way back and bring that down. Now, it may take a while, we just going to want to keep on doing it until it starts working. And tap down just to really set it on the face. And now do the same to the other side. Okay, chisel in. I've got very oily skin, so I need to put a lot on. Now we're going to start with the borders of our nose. Do literally a line. I'm just going to powder everywhere. So I need some powder everywhere. So I usually do this part like in my pajamas, and that is not meant to go there. What we're going to do now is we're going to grab our Laura, Laura Mercier setting powder, and what we're going to do is just want to use a little tiny baby blending tool. So cute. Okay, I'm just gonna literally dip this inside here. Because this one, even though it's called the glow one, is quite light. And then we're gonna set this under our eye. So what I usually tend to do after this point is I start doing um start doing my eye makeup usually at this point so see you in five ten minutes hey guys so i'm back it's been around 10 minutes um yes i think this has set quite well with the powder brush i'm just going to start you know brushing through it just taking it all off So grab my Kat Von D shade and light contour well shade and contour palette. So you can see it's quite easy. I'm gonna go through the middle one if there's any powder left. Then we're just gonna put it on our forehead, just on our temples. Once we basically contoured everything, just 
some more mouth and then this uh, with the pop of the brush. So I'm gonna grab a bronzer brush and with this bronzer here, it's called Illuminate, Illuminate Pro. So you just want a tiny bit of product, it's very shiny and nice. And go around here. So once we've done that, we're going to want to contour around the nose. So going back to that Kate Kat Von D eyeshadow palette, we're going to get a little eyeshadow brush, very right? funny. Just grab the light shade. I'm just going to start contouring around the nose. I'm going to grab a highlighting brush like this. And I'm just going to tap it onto the lightest powder here and put it on the edge of our nose. Once we've put on all the highlighting contouring, we're going to start highlighting. I've got this nice highlighter, I believe the name is Albatross. So we'll just put the highlight around here. It's a very beautiful, subtle highlighter. I believe it's the best one. Um, yeah, I've had it only for years, literally. So a little bit goes a long way, trust me. So we're just going to put it literally on the tip of our nose. So pull our nose guys and just down here. So I'm just a little product down here just to give you that bottom nose effect. Okay my lovelies, so that is it. Here you have the complete and finished look. That's how I personally feel comfortable since we're really highlighting my face. I mean, I hope you liked it. If you took anything from it, if you've used any of the techniques I've used, please comment below. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial and please don't forget to comment, like and subscribe and I shall see you all in my next video. Bye guys.